Hello! Hello there! This is Pastor Have You Seen This? Where it's a tradition from Allen Creek Community Church where you guys send us a video and one of our pastors on staff comments on it from a cold take. No in-depth study, just us fresh off the presses and we get to comment on it. And I'm very disappointed with the lack of Star Wars content that I've received. So please send some Star Wars content social at ac3.org or Fortnite content. I'll comment on that too. Anything like that would be great. But without further ado, I'm going to comment on what you have sent us and hopefully give you some sort of knowledge or Christian perspective. So. What was happening in terms of apologetics and the challenges we have is that people were doubting the miracles of the Christian faith. Mm -hmm. People have moved from doubting the miracles to doubting the morals. Mm -hmm. And that's our real issue now. Two years ago, I taught a segment in our, to our students in our church on biblical sexuality, biblical morality. A girl came forward to, and, and asked the question, she said, I would like to be a Christian, but I don't believe what the Bible says on all these other areas of sexuality. This girl says, I am a Christian. She still considers herself to be a Christian. And she says, I don't believe the Bible, but I believe in Jesus. What I did with her is tried to move to say, look, Jesus actually believed the Old Testament was true. So if you believe in Jesus, you gotta believe what Jesus believed. And if you believe in Jesus without believing what Jesus believed, you didn't believe in Jesus. <laughs> right. That's the point. Well, that's good. Well, D6 has been around for a long time. D6 Ministries is a family. Uh, ministries and their big thing is uh, trying to bring the home and the church together so that way that a child's life can be changed so really encourage you guys to watch more of that that d6 is great stuff um, love d6 um, but also what a great perspective he said it's a morality issue you know it used to be well that couldn't really happen miracles can't really happen but now it's a morality thing and I like his perspective of what he said he said well you can't say you believe in Jesus and not believe in what Jesus believed in I say this to my students all the time. It's like, hey guys, guess what? To be a Christian, you have to follow Jesus, which means you do what he did. You don't just sit here and, and say, I'm a Christian, and I just sit here and I play video games. No, you do what he did, right? And we have to go and do what he did. And guess what that does? It makes us uncomfortable. It puts us in awkward situations. It puts us in situations where we might be bullied, that we might be persecuted for our faith. All of those things, right? And I'm not talking about American persecution. I'm saying if you go to another country, there's some serious persecution you could experience by following Jesus, right? And so I love what he said. The deconstruction movement is totally based on a morality issue. And I don't believe that this is a moral issue. I don't believe that that's a moral issue. For example, uh, the current debate of transgenderism, right? It's like, is this a moral issue? Is this not a moral issue? Was, are, was I born this way? Gender dysphoria? Uh, all of those things, right, are, are stuff that's come to the surface and said, well, how can it be moral if I was born with it, right? That's, that's the argument is, how could it be moral if I was born with it? Well, what we say from a Christian perspective is, I was born into sin, okay? I was born sinful. I have sinful desires. And I can explain this very openly and, and with you is that I never taught my kid how to sin, She's one and a half. She sins, guys. Like, she does. Like, she is, uh, she disobeys her parents, she, you know, because she's one and a half, okay? Like, she's not going to know how to comprehend certain things and whatever. But I also know, I, I know some five-year-olds who know very well what they're supposed to do and not supposed to do, and they sin, okay? So my point being is, while their sin might be different than our sin, as we get older and they become more uh, entrenched into a deeper type of our sin, I'm not saying that you can't be born with sinful desires. The Bible's clear on that. We are born into this sinfulness. But what we have to look at is say, what does the Bible say about my sinfulness? What does the Bible say about this? If I'm going to claim to be a Christian, I'm not talking to the non-Christians right now. I'm saying if I'm claiming to be a Christian and I want to follow Jesus and I read the Bible and the Bible says, do not murder uh, the cameraman. And I say, well, I don't like how he edited my last video, so I'm going to murder him. That's not okay. Also, if Michael dies, I did not murder him. But, uh, but my point being is that, that when I read my Bible, I understand completely that my Bible uh, is, uh, is um, 
my Bible is completely truthful. And even when I don't want to believe it, even when I don't want to agree with it, uh, I, I know that uh, what it says is true and I'm going to follow it regardless. And so that's the point is if you're a Muslim, you follow the Quran. If you're a Christian, you're going to follow the Bible. If you're, you know, any of these religions, if you claim to be that religion, you should be following what it says. And I think that's kind of his point. It's like, if you're going to be a Christian, you got to do what the Bible says, what Jesus says. So uh, I'd love to hear your comments on that. Like, obviously not talking to the non-Christian here, talking to the Christian here. Uh, can you be a Christian and not believe everything of the Bible? Um, and what does sanctification look like? What does that process look like? All of those things are important questions to ask. So I like what they said. Watch more D6 videos. They're super smart. Check you guys later.